An investigator say it looks like that huge hot air balloon that crashed and burned in Texas hit power lines. 16 died. It is America's worst balloon disaster yet. Robert Sumwalt with the NTSB. The ground crew communicated with the pilot via cell phone during flight. And we also know that the pilot navigated with the use of his his iPad on board the uh, the balloon. CBS News correspondent Omar Villafranca has more about the pilot. 49-year-old Skip Nichols was the balloon's pilot. Steve Brudniak flew as a passenger with Nichols just two months ago. He was constantly, you know, looking around. He was definitely checking for power lines. Two years ago, the NTSB urged the Federal Aviation Administration to take a closer look at commercial hot air balloon operators and impose more safety measures. The FAA rejected those recommendations, saying they would not result in a significantly higher level of operational safety. Nichols had been arrested for DWI back in 2000, and the St. Louis Post-Dispatch says the Better Business Bureau warned consumers in 2008 not to do business with them. Investigators will be meeting with members of the ground crew today.